What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a great Thursday. So every week I'm going to be picking a player. A lot of people have asked me to do this. So thanks for the suggestion to do it. It is a good idea. So hope you, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Where I basically pick a player of the week or my player pick of the week to tie in with somebody that is on a form that is either reasonably cheap or is going to be an absolute game changer. So last week we had Rafa Silva. Uh, we had him in uh, where I thought, I honestly think that Rafa Silva, genuinely lads, I think he's honestly one of the best wingers in the game. Obviously he's cheap as chips. And today we are taking a look at Pedri. Now, I've had Pedri since eFootball 2022, right? I have a couple of different versions of him, but we are going to be taking a look at his standard card today. So this is mostly for guys that do not have Pedri, have never played with Pedri. Uh, you're in for a treat, lads, because he is definitely, I would say, one of the best players in the game for a budget. Like, I, I think there is better center midfielders there now. It depends your play style. If you're kind of like an all-action you want somebody that will like get the ball back for you and help out your DMF, depending on what formation that you're playing. Um, like for instance, like my my squad that I'm using at the moment that you're seeing here, right? And this is the squad that I'm rocking at the moment. I'm using a five at the back just to kind of limit guys that are playing three center forwards. But I use kind of Makalele and Goretzka in a two-man tandem in midfield because my main attack is coming from these three boys, Messi, Neymar, and Romario. I'm playing three up front, five, two, three. If I'm playing a different formation, right, depending on what formation I'm going to play, if I'm playing like a different formation, if something isn't working for me uh, and I want to play against somebody that is uh, like kind of completely way too comfortable in midfield or he's kind of dominating me and holding the ball a little bit and I want to switch things up, I am going to want to use these two, my like Ronaldinho and Messi. I'm going to want to use the two of those boys as my kind of linchpins for getting Haaland into his attacks. And then obviously we can either spread Kimi out left or right and we can put Modric out wide as well. And then you've got your two man there. So it depends on what form that you want to play obviously with this one it's all about kind of keeping this back five uh kind of like solid and then attacking with the rest of the boys so i'm attacking with five and defending with five and i put defensive on two of these now mostly when i'm playing i do like to have one kind of orchestrator and one kind of guy that can just disrupt the play the reason why i'm kind of playing with this at the moment i think um is because obviously Goretzka is on really good form this week. He's on A form. But I do have Pedri on my bench. And I always have Pedri on my bench. Uh, there's Rafa Silva from last week. I always have Pedri on my bench because of his passing ability and stuff. So it depends the formation. If you are more of kind of like a possession-based player, uh, such as me, you definitely need to have a two-man midfield that can pass the ball. I'm just lucky enough that I do have Makalele here and Goretzka. Both of them aren't the best passers, but the, you know, all I need to do is just get the ball forward to these three boys. But anyway, right? When we're talking about Pedri here, you've got a couple of decisions to make if you want to have a center midfielder. Like he can play play like Modric he can play like De Bruyne I've got a couple of different versions of him there or else you can you know Scolzi or else you can have that box to box guy like Goretzka or like Makalele or Vieira in there that is actually going to like be all about getting the ball back when you lose it but anyway moving back to Pedri lads I digress moving back to Pedri right I think that Pedri for 150,000 GP is probably one of the best players that you could actually buy in the game like full stop right he's 150k which isn't a lot, right? He's also got incredible player skills, double touch, everything that you could need there. He's got a wavering form. He's an A rating this week. He's only 19 as well. Um, he looks unbelievable uh, with that shirt on. That sounded a bit weird. I apologize. But anyway, yeah, he looks unbelievable in terms of his player render and his model. He handles, he looks unbelievable on the pitch as well with his little movements and stuff. Like, trust me, his stats might tell... Uh, a different tail than on the pitch but he is able to actually win the ball back because he is aggressive enough on the on the pitch as well now the version of Pedri I'm using is uh is the special one I have this one and I also I think I packed this one as well the player of the week version uh but the one even the standard version lads you can just train him up with 70 progression points you can train him up in a multitude of ways right so again it depends right if you are looking for a like a complete you know, a pass, a pass friendly guy, right? This is how I would say it, right? If you're looking to actually get somebody that can pass the ball, that is able to do everything on the ball when he gets the ball at his feet, I definitely think, you know, you need to probably look 
for that type of player. Like Goretzka is one of them, Luis Alberto is one of them, Verratti is another one, uh, Zelensky, somebody like that can actually like, you know, dig you out in midfield and is going to act as kind of like a guy chasing around the ball, blocking passing lanes, right? But if you are if you are looking for that, I don't think, you know, that you should boost Pedri up to that because you're going to have to pump in pretty much half, more than half your points to get up his defensive awareness to any bit decent, right? Now, you could do it. You could do it because his passing and everything is still going to be solid. You can put seven into that. You put seven into that and then you can put the rest into his speed. Like, he still has a lot of room there to grow as a CMF. Like, that is a very, very, very solid Pedri build i would say right you've still got your 88 type possession 86 ball control 85 dribbling 86 low pass acceleration 81 and then defensive engagement 88 with defensive awareness tackling and aggression all in the high 70s right but if you're me right and this is what i would do i would genuinely forget about defense i would forget about this right and i would probably just focus on what makes him you know, Pedri, right? So we'd put the passing up to 90. This is going to be like what we're wanting him to be like. This is how we're going to want him to play. We're kind of want him as Iniesta-esque as possible. We're going to give all into the 90s there in the dribbling. And then we're going to focus the rest on his acceleration and his speed. That's got kind of what we're going to focus on. We want that stamina up. And we also want the speed up as well as the balance and the offensive awareness because we want to use him as kind of like a linchpin between our defense and attack. If we are going to use him in a two man or if we're using him in a three man as an AMF, that is kind of how I would play him. Definitely, that's how I would play him and how I would recommend play him. And again, you can mess around with this. You can take one off the dribble and say, yeah, he doesn't need to have, uh, you know, 88 ball control or whatever. You can take one off that. You can leave the passing as is and you can boost up the defense a little bit if you want or the uh, lower body strength if you want a bit and get him a little bit, you know, faster or whatever. If you want him to be a bit more zippy when he gets the ball like Iniesta can be on certain animations. But I definitely think that there's a lot of uh, people missing out on Pedri. I think he was really popular at the start, but I think with him being on A-form this week, lads, I genuinely do recommend him very, very highly. He is so good, and uh, he just, like, like he's he's won me games before. So for 150,000 GP, he's definitely worth it. So let me know what you guys think. I'll be back later with another video. Hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.